Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is January 10th of 2019. It is about uh, 5.40 p.m. here in Fort Worth, Texas. I think this is going to be a short video, but with me, you never know, I might start rambling. Uh, what we need is some type of remote system here where you guys could click on something and it would slap me upside the face or something and maybe say get on course or stop rambling or something uh as you can see this is my youtube channel main page uh, i'd really like to change this banner up here at the top i'm, I'm kind of blue or green in color in this thing and uh, I don't want to spend the time to do it though I think I, I did I paid on Fiverr Fiverr uh, somebody to make this for me um, I don't know if when you go there if you see recent activities or if that's something that I see but you can see I've been uh, Messing around, looking at videos on the F2 TD. I now wish I'd have got the $300 uh, Yezu. And I'm going to um, be at a ham fest uh, on the 18th and 19th here in Fort Worth. And I'll have a table set up. And I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. I'm going to sell it cheap or whatever, so... If you're going to be at the Cowtown Ham Fest, I'll be there Friday, and I'm, I'm, unless everything sells on Friday, I'll be there Saturday. Uh, like I said, I'm going to sell a whole bunch of stuff cheap. A lot of the stuff is stuff that I was sent to review, and um, some of the stuff that I purchased. I'm going to take, I don't know how many I have, several monitors and sell them really cheap. And uh, because we have, you know, all of us here, my ex-wife, my grown son, and myself, we all have nice monitors. And these were a little bit older monitors. So I'll be selling them really cheap just to get them out from underfoot. Uh, I wish I'd have got the $300 Yezu radio. Uh, Okay, that's, yeah, okay, that is, that's the F2TDR. And it's, I wish now I had I got that instead, but I'm really happy with the, what I did get. Yeah, it's a really uh, nice radio for like 135. I do need to do the program. That's that's another thing. I, like I said, I do like this uh, do like this radio. <laughs> and I mentioned this in another video. In order to program, and it comes with the cable. The software is free. Uh, so for one hundred and thirty-five dollars, you can program with your computer, whatever. But uh, you have to. I forget exactly how you do it. I need to. Uh, I actually tried to print it. I need an image cap because it, the thing that pops up when you do it, I can't copy it just by copy and paste. So I'll have to use uh, one of the programs I have. No, that's not it. have to use something to... Uh, but you plug it in or you turn it on and then you unplug the power I, I, and then you plug in the USB uh, it, there's with kind of it's not rocket science but man but I do actually when I go to the ham fest what I may do is they'll have booths probably set up maybe by Yezu or by they'll be just ham radio operators there with a table probably 
and they'll say uh, for I don't know how much money, ten bucks, fifteen, I don't know. They'll program the radio. You know, they'll say I'll say I, I live in West Fort Worth. They'll put in all the frequencies, load it up with uh, all the frequencies and everything I need, and I won't have to do that. And maybe though, I'm not sure. There's probably a uh, upgrade for the uh, BIOS, not called a BIOS. What do you call it? But they'll probably do. This. So anyway, they, if, if they're set up like that, I'll just have them do that. I'm also going to uh, take the exam. You can take the ham radio test there. And uh, I have a technician's class license. And that's really all I need. But the next step up is a general class license. And I don't want to lose my place here. Uh, the next step up is the uh, general class license. And I've been doing the practice exam online. And I've been doing it every day. And I have uh, haven't passed once. You have to get 70 to pass. And, uh, oh, let me go to that just to, uh, no, I did that. If you watch my videos, you saw me taking the exam, practice exam. Uh, but anyway, the ham fest is going to be on the 18th and 19th. And uh, I'm, it, it, as I take this practice exam, and I've been I just been taking the practice exam, so I just opened the book up here, and I'm going to go through actually go through the questions and answers, uh, looking at them this way. In addition, I'll do the thing online, and then I'll actually go back and read uh, where they talk about ham amateur radio and general class type stuff. So I'm going to do that too before. But if I'm not ready, if I'm not passing the test with higher than 70 every time, uh, I just won't take the test at the ham fest because the local amateur radio club here in Fort Worth, the Cowtown Amateur Radio Club, you can search for that. Maybe I'll remember to put a link underneath. Uh, I'll try to put a link to the uh, ham fest. Um, they hold a meeting every Thursday night at their club. Everybody's you're in, you're welcome, even if you're not an amateur radio operator, uh, to come and find out about amateur radio and talk to the people. Uh, and every other twice a month or every other Thursday, uh, they do testing there. For the and uh, there is a charge. I think it's fifteen dollars. I believe, and. Uh, they take care of everything. Well, you need to bring an ID. And if you're an amateur radio operator, I'll need to bring two copies of my license. And I uh, need the FCC number, but if I don't have, I'll, I'll get it before I go. But um, I can, I think, give my Social Security number and whatever. And the, Anyway, they take care of all the paperwork to make sure everything is is the way it should be. If you pass, if you don't have an amateur radio license, I forget. They'll they'll tell you. If you if you are not an amateur licensed amateur, I think in a day or two, they can tell you. They'll let you know, or you can look it up and see what your license is, and you can start. If you're a technician like I am, class, uh, if I pass, I can go ahead and uh, use general class privileges, which I, I won't use, you know, which why I, I really don't need it, but which I won't be using at least, I don't, I'm no rush to use it. Uh, and you can use it by, well, slash AG, I think, or something like that, as you know, so. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go to the ham fest. I got a bunch of stuff to that I'm going to sell really inexpensively, and just to, because my ex-wife, my grown son, and myself live in this two-bedroom, two-bathroom 
uh, apartment. So I am confined to this one room, luckily because of my prostate and everything. I have one of the bathrooms and one of the bedrooms, and everything is in here, and there's four or five tripods sitting over there, a whole bunch of containers over there with uh, 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 equipment, you know, in them, all kinds of stuff, and several monitors, uh, just a whole bunch, ton of USB cables, a uh, whole bunch of uh, powers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to take it and hopefully get rid of it. If, uh, perhaps if, if I sell a lot of it, I may buy the, uh, Yezu FT2DR. My daughter, Hillary, my grown daughter, she has been studying, uh, just started taking the online amateur uh, test for the technician class. And I'm, I'm not sure, but if she, if I sell a bunch of stuff, I already have a radio. I tried to give it to her already, a brand new HT, not this one, but a brand new HT. And she won't take it, wants to pay me for it or whatever. But anyway, if she uh, does take the test and if she, passes then I'll get her to take the the uh, the radio uh, if I sell a bunch of stuff there I may buy the ft2 dr and I might um, have them if that happens I might have one of the amateurs set up there at a station or something or they have him program this for her, which would be for, she lives right across from us here with all the frequencies and uh, everything put in there. I don't have the simplex frequencies put in here. Don't have it so you know, perfect, just hand it to her and she'd be ready to go and give her this. And uh, depends on how much I, how much I sell. I have to pay, I paid $35 for the table, a ticket for her to get in. Um, oh yeah, they charge $10 at the door to get into, let's, let's go to, uh, let's go to that since I'm talking about it. Let's not go to that. Let's not go to this. Let's go to here. Uh, let's see, I have amateur radio. Let's see, maybe it's up here. Ham test, and that's a ham test. Go down to repeater book, no, customer, uh, amateur radio network, where's the International Space Station, ham test online. Okay, where did I put it? Uh, even with all these things set up. Um, well, okay, let's just do a Google search. For Cal Town Ham Fest. Let's put 2019, see if we what we pop up here. Well, I didn't spell it right. Okay, but it came up anyway. Okay, so here it here's the uh, ham fest. And uh, So here's the location of it, Cowtown Ham Fest. It's a Forest Hill Civic Center and Convention Center. And they have the directions, and here is uh, the address. You can pause this if you want it. I'll, I'll put a link underneath here, though. And it's 6901 Wichita Street, Forest Hill, Texas, 76140. If you are an amateur radio operator, you can talk in on... I haven't got that frequency in here either. 146.94, and you need the tone of 110.9. Um, and okay, the um, hours Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Like I said, you'll, unless you 
pre-order, you're going to need a $10 ticket to get in. The ticket is good for both days. There will be a drawing, probably hourly or every few hours, there'll be a drawing, you know, where they'll uh, give out the number of the ticket or something, and you can win prizes. At the, I'm not sure if the end of the day, Friday, and at the end of Saturday, but usually, I've only been to maybe four or five ham fest, but they sometimes give away really expensive. You might you might get a five hundred dollar radio or a thousand dollar radio or something. So I don't know what they they haven't said yet what the uh, prizes are actually going to be. But uh, let's see about us. Looks like a ham fest here, or a uh, field day once a year. Amateur radio operators uh, go out and set up on uh, solar power or batteries or whatever so they can be ready for when disasters do happen and when cell phones don't work and when landlines don't work. Uh, testing. Testing is going to be sometimes on what during uh, on Friday between 3 and 5 p.m. If you're in this area, in that area there, uh, you could very quickly, you can purchase online like Kindle reading, Kindle. You can get, if you don't have an amateur radio license, go for the technicians. And for a few dollars online, you can, at Amazon, you can get the Kindle version or whatever. Or you could... Uh, uh, order, maybe get next day delivery, I don't know, of an actual guide like this. Uh, or if you have a ham radio store close by, go pick up one. And, uh, you know, you have a week or so, you could actually. I had a, when I was in Kansas City, Missouri, I had a friend, a police officer, Raymore police officer, uh, wanted to become an amateur radio operator. He came over to my house uh, the day of the testing and sat down at my computer and I pulled up the uh, testing free testing site and he went through the questions learning as he when he missed one and then it reappears in the next test or one of the next tests or whatever then we went over to I went with him over to the peculiar grade school where testing was being done and he got his amateur radio license so uh, you have time especially to get the technician's class and become an amateur radio operator. If you're not in the area, you can... Uh, okay, here it is. Let's see. Uh, if you're licensed, of course, you have to have a copy of your license, current, anything that you've already passed, parts that you've already passed, a photo ID. You must know your FRN number or your Social Security number so they can pull you up on the FCC site. Uh, like I'm upgrading, so I need my original license. Uh, 14, it says $14 check, check or cash. Uh, you can, I won't. You can bring a calculator with a cleared memory. Uh, don't try to uh, pull any, you know, they're, these guys know what they're doing, the testing people. Don't try to put something into your, uh, don't try to cheat. I don't know if anybody, you know, I don't know, I haven't talked to them. I don't know if anybody, you know, just, uh, anyway, um, okay. Uh, looks like this is running longer. I didn't intend to, uh, I'm not going to talk about politics. But I do want to show you, <laughs> yeah, let's go here, videos, yeah. Uh, my last video, which was made uh, on January 5th, this is January, wow, January 10th, five days without making a video. It got 87 views and five comments. I made a video on uh, January 2nd uh, about Obama's 10-foot wall. I turned off because I talked about politics and half of it, and the other half is 
actually you seeing me, I believe, trying to uh, pass the online practice test. Uh, it has received 436 views and 21 comments, and it's very rare, almost never, and I've been doing this since 2005, do I have people uh, attack me or say whatever. This got, uh, because of the political nature, it got some negative com content or messages. Uh, and you can see here, see like I have 75% likes on this one video here and the video down here, 89% and 100% likes, 100% likes, 100% likes. This one has 47% uh, likes. So, but I'll still be talking about politics, unfortunately. I wish I didn't because it, my video, my all my blogging, I've been doing blogging since uh, 1982 and um, actually really before that. I did a radio program that was broadcast around the world back in the 1960s, I believe, for a year until the station kicked me off. Um, so I've always been blogging comment because I also put out back then when I was in high school for years a printed publication typed up on stencils put on a uh, mimeograph machine cranked by hand and printed out uh, 500 copies a month going out around the world and I had one other per I had a person who uh, put out a uh, publication that uh, he didn't agree with my editorial, and he called me a dirty, garbage, pale editorializer, which was I thought was really good. So on the next issue of my publication, I printed out a certificate for everybody who was a subscriber, saying, "You are now an official, you know, uh, member of the dirty, you know." garbage pail editorial, your dirty garbage pail editorializer or whatever. Uh, then I mentioned too, I had a, I did an editorial uh, calling for the formation of an association of all the radio clubs. And uh, so each radio club would have a representative or something on this. And in order to do certain things, I spelled all that out. I shouldn't even tell you this because this is really embarrassing, but I mentioned it before. I mentioned it several times. So I put an editorial in there and I sent it out. There was a club, the Newark News Radio Club, that was around. I think when, I think when Marconi got done sending out his first letter S or whatever it was that he put out, I think they formed, <laughs> just about, and uh, they just paid no attention to smaller clubs and radio clubs, and it was like they are so much, you know so much above everybody else that they wouldn't even mention where the other clubs um, talked about each other or recommended each other and did stuff like that. The Newark News Radio Club was like, we are in touch with the Lord uh, God Almighty and we don't, these people over here, are, you know. Well, they wouldn't even mention these people over here. But anyway, I uh, opened up their publication and uh, they had printed my editorial. And I went, wow, my God, that's so unusual for them to do that. Of course, they blasted underneath, you know, uh, Jim Howard. I, I, this is not, I can't remember after 50 or 60 years or whatever. But I, Jim Howard is a, you know, <clears throat> babbling idiot, doesn't know anything about anything and blah, 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 blah. And the idea of an association of North American radio clubs is a, stupid idea and never happen or whatever and then I'm looking at I knew the court well I thought well, well I, they published at least we uh, one of the clubs you know was able to be mentioned in that you know that they now acknowledge there's somebody else in the world you know but then I looked at the thing and all over the page it was SIC after all these words SIC SIC and it was like What's the SIC? What's the SIC? And actually, I'm still, you know, I looked at it. SIC, SIC. Uh, then I um, uh, may put, let me do this here. 
So uh, I had a couple people say, Jim, some of us watch your videos on cell phones, and when you have, you know, make your video bigger. I keep forgetting to do that. I need that. I know another one of those hit me and glunk, 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 you know, make the video bigger when you're not showing something else that matters. But anyway, uh, I looked at this thing, SIC, SIC, you know. I saw, okay, there's, it's that, okay, it's after this word. Why, what's that mean? Okay, that word is misspelled. Yeah, okay. Because, uh, like, the publication that I put out, I was the only one that, there was other editors that did. Uh, one guy, C.M. Stanbury II, did a column. And he made a lot of, not on, he wrote for a whole bunch of, of uh, publications, uh, national, you know, paper, I mean, real publications, you know. Uh, and uh, excellent articles, no mistakes, of course. They were, you know, uh, he made a few mistakes on the, on the stencils that he sent me that he typed. And uh, I, uh, but no ma material mistakes, like when he was listening, you know, Radio Moscow is now broadcasting a, on such and such a frequency, or Radio Swan is being jammed, and the frequency that is jamming them is, you know, he didn't make any mistakes, material mistakes that mattered. But he made some other little typing mistakes. So I, uh, you know, well, he couldn't send an email, you know. Uh, but I said, hey, you want me to type the stencils? You know, you just send it on paper, and then I'll type the stencils for you. It's kind of a pain typing on these stencils. You use the typewriter without the ribbon in it, punched holes in the thing, and then you put this thing on it. And, uh, anyway. And he said, no, no, Jim, I'll, I'll do it. Then I felt kind of bad in a way because a few months later I was reading uh, Radio Electronics magazine or Popular Electronics because he wrote for all these magazines uh, and things. And there was an article about him. He was in Canada, Sam Stanbury II. And uh, he had, I don't know, cerebral palsy or I'm not sure what he, can't remember now what he had. But he was typing these stencils and all of his articles and things with a pencil uh, in or a, a thing in his mouth on a typewriter. There wasn't computers back, by the way. By the, back, there wasn't computers then. Uh, so I felt kind of bad that I had I didn't know that about him. Anyway, back to the subject. So anyway, uh, I saw after my. Uh, on the saying, oh, okay, that's where it spells incorrectly, you know, that I typed because I didn't pay a lot of attention to, you know, I didn't deliberately make spelling errors, but I just didn't pay a lot of attention because at, I think I was mistaken, but at the time I felt, well, that's not really important. The important thing is to get out. I did a space communications column. At, I did a number of columns in this publication called SWL, and one of them was space community. As far as I know, that was the first space communications, you know. When Sputnik went up, I, I put in there, you know, space communications column and radio uh, Sputnik is transmitting on such and such a frequencies, 19.995 uh, and 40 point, I forget, 005 or something or whatever, um, megahertz. Um with a apogee of such and such and uh, height and perigee of, you know, blah, blah, blah. I put all that information, and then I even got, when other satellites went up, I was getting, NASA was sending me, I don't think NASA existed then, but I was getting every day this information, putting this information in there. But So, um, but anyway, how did I get there? Um, so anyway, I look there and I see, okay, that's S-I-C there after that word also. And it's here after this word. Wait a minute, this word over here is spelled incorrectly. Okay, this word is spelled. Oh, my God. 
and I, then I, that, that means SIC spelled incorrectly. Man, the whole page, my whole editorial is written, and then I'm looking, and most of them I could just tell, I mean, most of them, well, yeah, I spelled that incorrectly, yeah, I spelled that, oh, wow, wow. Then there was a couple words, okay, I'm not sure how to spell it, there was no spelling corrections, you know, and uh, no gam gammerly, uh, <laughs> and then it was a couple words, I had. that was a deciding factor, okay, what that word there, oh, yeah, that's spelled incorrectly, okay, that's what it means, so... Uh, and I'm not sure how I got on that subject. Anyway, um, hopefully at this ham fest, I am going to uh, sell some stuff and get some room. Get rid of some stuff because this this room is cluttered with stuff that I just it's I can't find anything. It's Stuff is stacked on top of each other. Sometimes I need a switch or a cable or something or other, and I just order another one rather than, than because what happens is I want to find the switch or the cable or whatever, and I put everything on my bed, keep going, okay, here it is, I found it. Then I have to take everything off the bed, put it back in the... So... Um, By the way, no, I'm not going to get in that. Yeah, there's some, uh, if you make YouTube videos effective with the end of this month. Yeah, okay, that's what this is at the top. So on January 31st after that, and like when I upload this video automatically going out to Twitter and Facebook will be the notice that I have just uploaded a video. And I think actually it goes to Facebook, and I think the little video goes, and you click on it there. I think I don't like video. I don't like Facebook. I go as, don't try to contact me by Facebook. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you can try if you want to, but uh, you know, I hate Facebook. Um, but at the end of this month, uh, you will have to physically hit the button, and I think then they're going to have you know something will pop up. Well, like it does. So that you can put in, you know, so they're trying to make it better on notifications and whatever. So, anyway, I thank you very much for watching this video. And I changed, I'm, let me give you the thing I do. I have my LG monitor and I have kicked it back in because it's killing my, it was killing my, I enjoyed watching some uh, science fiction movies or whatever in 4K, but. I got it back in 1920 by 1080. I moved over. This is my wide monitor, my LG wide one. I have it. You know, I don't actually need with this the wide, but I have it. So I'll probably be re I replace the, you know, probably, uh, but I won't get rid of this one. I won't sell the wide monitor. But I'll probably put back uh, uh, the Asus 1920 by 1080 monitor there. Uh, I disconnected one of the, uh, I now just have two Logitech, this is the Brie, and this other one, which I don't think I switched to, so let's give it a, uh, test, and as you saw, what it was, C930, I think, E, or whatever. Uh, uh, still using this microphone on the headset, um. Back here is my Roku TV. I was just, did I turn it off? I guess I did. Why did I turn it? No, I didn't turn it off. It just paused. Oops, I did turn it off then. I was just watching uh, Twit. Um, uh, Windows, pre-recorded Windows Weekly. And I don't think I've watched yet Google this week. I think maybe it's the new ones out. So when I get done here, I will upload this and then I will uh, watch um, Windows or Google this week. Uh, okay, I think that's... Uh, I think that's it. I'm waiting to see has... Uh, the government is not back in operation yet. 
Okay, I'm not going to mention. I, I was going to mention some politics, but not. It wouldn't have been a. It wouldn't have been something somebody should be. It'd be something I think we kind of agree with everybody. But I don't want to do. I don't want to bring politics into this. If I did, I would. Uh, my ex-wife has been talking nonstop about uh, Jeff Bezos uh, getting a divorce or whatever. And I'm tired of hearing about, I don't really care, but uh, she's been talking to family and stuff on the telephone and she's telling, and I, so I hear that. Uh, she does not have a inside voice. She is loud and I, I, she may be hard of hearing. I am hard of hearing, by the way. Man, her television goes full blast and she watches uh, game shows nonstop. Well, she's confined to a wheelchair, so uh, I guess that's terrible of me to say, but she, wa I mean, for me to, but she watches television nonstop and it, ha it goes 24 uh, 7. Uh, she has a large uh, Roku television, 4K. But she falls asleep, and yeah, she actually falls asleep with re usually with a remote control in her hand, and it's loud. I'm at the other end of the apartment. Of course, it is an apartment, and I'm have my door closed a lot of the time, and I can hear her watching. Uh, Oh, those game shows. But she falls asleep. And movies, same thing with a movie. I'll recommend uh, a movie to her. I recommended uh, Citizen X, which is an old movie. I, I would recommend that movie to you. Really interesting. And uh, so then I asked her, you know, what did you think of it? Well, I watched the first few minutes of it and I fell asleep and I saw the last few minutes of it. I saw the first part, and then I saw the part at the end where such and such happens. Uh, should I should I watch in the uh, the middle part, or she'll try to watch something and she'll fall asleep. She'll have it going, the same movie, you know, the same movie or TV show. She'll have it going. She'll fall asleep, wake up, and then she goes back, starts it over, or starts back at where, which is the beginning, basically. And then she falls asleep again. And she, there's been some shows, movie or something, where it's been run 15 times before she finally ever saw the entire thing. Oh, my God. Anyway. Uh, I'm approaching 3,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Get me 3,000 subscribers. Uh I'll put some links below, the link below to Amazon. If you're going to purchase something, please use that link to go to Amazon. You don't have to buy any of the things that you see that I have listed there. But if you're still there and you go over and buy a Mercedes or something, uh, a big screen TV or a refrigerator or something, something expensive. Well, even anything inexpensive. But if you, I get a... 2% to a 10% commission. I don't think I've ever got a 10% commission on stuff, but uh, please bookmark that uh, URL of mine for Amazon because I get a, uh, I'll get a commission. It will help, help me buy more computer stuff and now amateur radio stuff. I really, you know, I don't even know why. I Uh, very rarely to listen on ham radio. I very rarely talk to anybody on ham radio. But I do one of these days, except now it's I'm not in the best health. I'm 70. I was born 1941, so whatever that is. I was 77 or 78 or whatever. I don't know. Um... But there are, I would like to uh, work some more. Uh, well, I have, I've actually worked a satellite. Well, I've received them. Like I said, I, was, I did the first that I know of space, communi or space communications uh, 
thing back in right after Sputnik 1 was launched. I'd fall asleep listening to Explorer 7 with my headsets on, headset, with my headphones on, and uh, about 90 minutes later, the beeping would wake me up, and then I would log it down in my log again. So, anyway, too, I've talked too long. Uh, thank you very much. For, give a thumbs up. Uh, uh, use my Amazon link. Uh, I don't know. Come back. Yeah, when you mark, uh, when you mark the site here, uh, let's see, when you subscribe or whatever, be sure and click the bell. That way, um, uh, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified that I've uploaded a video and you can run over and uh, say hateful things to me if I've talked about politics. Thank you very much for watching. I welcome your comments. I try always to, well not since uh, getting some hate comments, which I'm not used to at all. I've commented for years about how lucky I am and how good you folks are to me. Uh, that I, a lot of YouTubers and other people who are online, Facebook or whatever, get a lot of hate and negative comments or whatever. And it's just absolutely so rare. I just don't get them. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.